From a very early age, I had a curiosity uh, about how things worked. Uh, how did atoms and ions, uh, molecules get together to give the properties to materials that materials had? How did processes work? For the last decade or so, we've been working on materials called ionic liquid materials. So my collaborator, Doug McFarlane, and I at Monash University, we discovered these materials uh, back in the mid-90s, and their applications specifically for energy storage and, and energy generation as well. But they also, we've discovered, they have also unique properties in terms of allowing the plating of lithium and sodium metal reversibly and efficiently, which means you can actually achieve the holy grail of a, of a high energy density lithium metal battery or sodium metal battery. We've also been looking at solid state materials because there's a big push now towards solid state batteries. Um, this is where we started back in 25 years ago, but now we're moving back to that space again now where we're looking at solid state devices, not the lithium, the materials based on solvents. The work we've been doing here in Victoria in this space is leading the world in the, in the new technology space, in the lithium metal space in particular. And we've been very persistently working in this area now for a, for a number of years. And in order to go that next step and take our research into a more application side of things, we've developed the Battery Hub, uh, Innova Battery Innovation Hub at Deakin University in collaboration with CSIRO. Science is not a solitary activity. Um, it's, it's full of collaborations, teamwork. In my case, I have a, a fantastic team of young researchers and collaborators. I'm part of the Australian Centre of Excellence for Electromaterial Science, or ACES. We've been going strong for more than 15 years now. It's a collaboration across a number of Victorian universities, including Monash University, but also um, UOW as well, and other universities around. But in addition to that, I also have very strong collaborations uh, where I am right now in Spain, not been on sabbatical here in San Sebastian, because we've got some great um, resources and great collaborators in, in the area of new energy materials but also in applying those materials and devices. There is a centre of excellence, um, CIC Energigune, um, which uh, prototypes sodium batteries uh, and lithium sulphur batteries, and we are collaborating with them through ARC discovery projects. Beyond that, the world is changing at such a fast pace. There are so many new technologies coming out there. Robotics, artificial intelligence, going to Mars, all these things are gonna require Technologies in energy storage and energy generation we don't currently have. And that requires the entire international community to be working together to try and solve these problems. To take the material science that we've been doing, the basic fundamental knowledge that we have, and those materials, prototype those materials into um, next generation devices. And that's also going to require novel manufacturing method methods as well. So we're looking at working with small companies in the, in the Victorian, Geelong and Melbourne region to develop new manufacturing processes to make the lithium metal batteries. We also have collaborations in, in India, large projects with, um, with uh, Mumbai and, Bang and IIC in Bangalore and in China uh, and other parts of, of the States and also in the UK. So science, this particular area of science is very important. It's looking at how we can combat climate change, it's looking at um, how do we enable renewable energy, looking at how we can replace fossil fuels. I'm Professor Maria Forsyth from Deakin University and I'm honoured to be receiving the 2017 Victoria Prize for Science and Innovation in the Physical Sciences. Mm -hmm.